From the beginning, these talks have been tough and they've been intense. And they remain so. And we've made some progress, but there are still gaps, important gaps, and important choices that need to be made by Iran in order to be able to move forward. Within reach, and given the recent comments uh, by the Supreme Well, the deadline is approaching. Uh, as you all know, we have set the end of the month uh, as the deadline. And so we will be going into this understanding that time is critical. Uh, I can't tell you whether or not uh, we can get a deal or whether we're close. The one reason I can't tell you is because we have heard some comments from the Supreme Leader regarding the letter that was sent by the 47 senators. Good morning, everybody. Can you hear? With respect to Iraq, uh, we absolutely have known of uh, Iran's engagement in the north uh, eastern parts of Iraq. And uh, indeed, we've had conversations with Prime Minister Abadi about it. He doesn't hide it, and we're not blind to it. We know that Iran has been engaged. We know that General Suleiman has been on the ground. We know that they have an interest. We understand that. And we fully understand uh, some of their engagement with some of the militia. At the same time, they are deeply opposed to uh, Daesh. And while we are not coordinating with Iran, we do not have conversations with Iran about this. We work through the Iraqi government. We do so with the knowledge uh, that they are also opposed to Daesh and are working for Daesh's defeat. <laughs> Uh, we have all been deeply shocked and saddened by the recent terrorist attacks, including uh, those in Egypt and the grotesque murder of 21 uh, Egyptian cops in Libya. The United States supports Egypt's efforts to combat the threat of terrorism in the Sinai and throughout the country. <laughs> President Obama remains committed to a two-state solution and remains hopeful that when there, whatever choice the people of Israel make, uh, that there will be an ability to be able to uh, move forward on those efforts.